Okay, so let's go to MATLAB and figure out uh, how to implement this. So close all. So what we do is let's say we construct a right hand side. Uh, so so let's say n is equal to 16 to start with and uh, uh, let's make f equal to once so this is our right hand side uh, for f and uh, uh, let's also make the boundary conditions to be 0 so u of 0 is equal to u of n plus 1 is equal to 0 so we don't have these terms when we are approaching the boundary okay and let's make u to be zeros and one that's our initial guess initial guess can be anything and as long as our jacobi iteration matrix has less than one eigenvalues then it doesn't matter what your initial condition is you are going to converge to the right value if your initial condition if your initial guess is close to the true solution you are going to converge a little bit faster but nevertheless you're going to converge so it's pretty commonplace to use a zero initial uh, zero initial guess now our next is to let's actually multiply this thing to the other side to make our formula a little bit cleaner so this is going to be minus delta x square over 2 times f of i and uh, uh, this is going to be plus half of ui plus 1k plus ui minus 1k both are half because these are 1 over delta x square these are uh, 2 over delta x square okay so now we start let's perform one iteration okay so u k uh, uk plus 1 would be equal to the existing okay so it's going to be uh, delta x I haven't computed delta x yet so let's imagine our domain is 1 and in final difference uh, we are dividing this one the domain size by n plus 1 right so uk plus 1 is going to be uh, minus delta x square divided by 2 times f all right so let's first uh, make this first so we get a uk plus 1 and then we add this part so uh, this part is going to be calculated like that so for i goes from 1 to n so Okay, so I first want to add the i plus 1 part. So if i is less than n, I want to say uk plus 1 of i is equal to itself plus u of i plus 1 divided by 2. Okay, else if i is greater than 1, u Oh, not else if. Uh, sorry. So let's. Okay. So let let's let's initialize zeros again. So not else if because I, uh, if i is in the middle, I both wanted to be added with i plus one and i minus one. So it's it should be another if, not else if. So this is still the same this is the same this is the same and then I'll do an end another if is if i is greater than 1 uk p plus 1 i is equal is going to be same thing uh, plus u of i minus 1 divided by 2 and so that completes our one iteration do we want to look at it? Okay, let's do that. Uh, UK plus one. It's pretty much zero, right? Uh, in fact, I'm concerned it looks exactly zero. So, uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to add this after. 
So I only did uh, uh, this U, U I plus one and U I minus one part. I forgot to add that part. So okay. So I should do it again. U K plus one is uh, is equal to the F part, and then I'm gonna do the loop. Okay. So let's look at this again. Right. I guess it's. It's non-zero, but it's too small for this to show. Okay, it, it is non-zero. So we can see that we have to be patient, right? One iteration doesn't really do much. So let's make another 100 iterations. So for uh, k goes from 1 to 100. So let's first say u is equal to uk plus 1. And then... We are going to do the for loop over the indices and end. So that completes a hundred iterations and it seems to be getting a diverging answer. Oh yes, we should have added F. That's right. That's right. Uh, but why am I diverging here? Da -da -da -da. Plus one, minus one. Okay, so so let's let's uh, start with uh, u is equal to zeros and one. So for k goes from the loop. So u k p plus one <coughs> is gonna be uh, so this should be equal to f or dx uh, right I think I had one of these sentences before right so this is equal to uh, minus dx square divided by 2 times f and then I'm going to go through the for loop. So uh, for i goes from 1 to n, if i is less than k, u is added, and uh, if it's greater than 1, so that is good. Okay. And uh, at the end, I want to say u is equal to uk plus 1. Okay. So this time I, I did a hundred loops of the Jacobi iteration. Let's plot it to see what I get. So this now looks a lot better as a Poisson's as the solution to the Poisson's equation, right? Okay, so just to compare, let's figure out uh, let's before we look at the analytical solution, the, the true solution, let's look at the residual to see how much the residual is. So the residual would be equal to, um, would be equal to, let me see, the f minus that, right? So the residual would be equal to f, let's do that first, and uh, uh, So let's for go from i from one to n, and the uh, r of so if i is greater than one, r i is going to be r i um, minus this u of i minus one divided by delta x squared. Right. If i is less than n, ri is going to be ri divided by uh, minus ui plus 1 divided by delta x squared. And no matter what ri is, ri needs to be uh, added with uh, the diagonal term. So I'm looking at the right hand side minus the left hand side. So we have a plus 2 times ui divided by delta x squared. So here is my r 
my r looks like point uh, zero point something so we see that it is not very small yet right so so remember if we have a zero solution u my r would be simply f which is r all ones so after 100 iterations we see that the residual has reduced from the magnitude of f which is equal to 1 to something like 0.2 so it has reduced a lot but not quite yet what does that mean we need to increase k so let's do another thousand iterations okay and we are going to look up our history for what we had have done before so from here to here now we have done another thousand iterations let's hold on and plot the u again so the new one is the red solution now we have seen that the blue solution although it qualitatively approximates the solution it's the magnitude is not that right yet so so the red solution has gone even lower all right so let's figure out what is the residual now so again let's use what we let's try to use our history uh, r is equal to for i goes from 1 to n so the computation of r ended over here all right so with another thousand iterations we get something much better right so all the uh, all the residuals are 10 to the minus 9 okay so so that means the red solution should be pretty much the analytical solution you shouldn't we shouldn't find a, a difference between them so let's confirm that so we are going to construct the matrix now explicitly right so a is going to be uh, minus 2 times identity of n divided by delta x square a is equal to a plus diagonal of 1's n minus 1 1 and I'll shift it up to 1 up by 1 and uh, I'll add another lower diagonal entry so I'm going to say u exact is equal to a backslash f now I'm allowed to use matrix solve oh yes thanks so I will do this and uh, divide by delta x square okay now I'm supposed to be right okay thanks for <laughs> thanks for pointing out the bug so u exact is equal to a backslash f and let's hold on again and plot u exact by let's do diamonds okay and uh, what do we have okay we have it's very hard to see but we have the diamonds overlapping with the uh, circles I uh, can't see it okay yeah so so basically we get uh, pretty much the same solution as this Jacobi iteration after a thousand iterations all right any questions on this